doctor, the man begins to act accurately. Do you know that even plants and animals, they, become, they became more obedient even more than man? That you see a leaf shaking up and down. At that time, that leaf or that tree is fulfilling the prophecy of this scripture that they were created to do what? To give God pleasure. A tree was found not giving God pleasure and Jesus caused the tree to die. Because the tree didn't know that the essence of its creation was to bring fruit in its time. And Jesus, even at that time, I, 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 I heard people and I've seen in study that that tree was not actually permitted to grow fruit that time according to agriculture. But the thing is that when God demands pleasure, you don't give him an excuse of time. But the tree was not vigilant enough to know that God, God does not give attention to season. He can cause rain to fall during Hamatan. It is you that know season. And <clears throat> Are you with me? How can you explain it that a woman didn't have a child for 30 years? When she was a youth, she didn't carry a child. And the moment she became 70, God gave her a child. How do you explain that? God is not controlled by time. He's not controlled by season. That's why he created time and season and stepped out of it. So he's the one that has the ability to control it. Are you with me? So let me go back to what I was trying to explain. It is that as I am talking now, if anything makes me feel that, hey, guy, you have arrived, though. You know all those things you read. Begin to dig them. Begin to bring them out so that you can impress people. God knows how to shift. Eh? He will allow you to do all those things that you want to do. But by the time you are done, you will realize that the glory of that meeting ended with clap. The fornicator that came will live the same way. Because the power to cause a change is because what you are saying is what God is saying. The power of God navigates towards where God is. Are you with me? So, this is an act of pleasure. If it is constant with what God is saying, now, say now. You are not saying it well, say now. So, all these were created. And for his pleasure were they created. Now, ask your neighbor, were you created? Or you appeared. Get, get an answer. Get an answer. So if you were created. You have been bound in this scripture. To be a pleasure giver. Are you with me? A pleasure what? Pleasure giver. A songwriter did a song and said. My desire is to walk upright before you. And be blameless. Because I realize it is easier to carry anointing. But more difficult to maintain the process that brought about the anointing. What am I trying to say? If God decides, maybe you brought out a certain month. And you began to seek God. You began to submit everything to God. You realize that the power of God navigates towards your direction. Hello? Hello? God does not anoint you on the bed of immorality. Every anointing you got, you will always trace it to a time of commitment. Check it when you were in school. In case you attended night first like me. When, when we began to seek God, every night we were gathered from the hours of 12 to 3 a.m. Praying. And the prayer point was not God. Give me a wife. Give me this one. Give me a husband. Give me a motto. Give No. All the prayer we prayed that time was, Father, if you are real, we want to know you. And we made that prayer like that for one year. Every night. And then after graduation, what, what we play out is that you will think you prayed with five people. But when you are praying with people, it's only God that knows people that are praying. If, if I tell this young boy here to count people in this hall. Or if I ask him, hey, you are spoiling, where is this guy coming from again? Leave this sound. No, you have not left it. You have spoiled it. 
and we are live on Facebook and social media. People on life forgive me. <laughs> are you with me? Are you still with me? See, when I ask him how many persons are in this hall, what's your name? Grace. Great. Great, we climb beyond do one, two, three, four. By the time he's done, he will say 500 people or 1,000 people and he will go and sit down. But if you, if you bring God into the system and ask him, how many people came for threshing floor? When God climbs here, he will tell you, I have begin to come. You will climb the weighing scale. By the time you climb it, you are counted in accordance with what you weigh. So God does not count men. God weighs men. Are you with me? God does what? Say it. God does what? God weighs men. That's why when God finds a man and tells him, my hand is on you. And I want to send a signal to the men in time through your life. The man will feel that if I fail, any other person can just carry it. You don't know that each time a man fails, God is denied a kind of pleasure. Because though we might look alike from the same parents, but we give God different kinds of pleasure. So when I respond to God by time, I give him what you cannot give him. And you also give him what I cannot give him. That's why the Holy Ghost misses you when you don't pray. Because there is a way you take your posture in prayer and God can look at you and begin to smile because you are beginning to give him that pleasure that whenever you are not there, even your mother cannot take your place. The, the concept of thinking we are many is the reason a lot of people will fail God. Each time I stand before Abba, I have a mindset. I don't know if it is wrong, but it, it has zapped me over and over again. I remind myself that I don't know how many we are. That I don't know if I'm the only one God is trusting on this season. And I say, Lord, I will not fail you. Because it takes God a lot to raise one man. And you will think that once you just live anyhow, God understands. I am sorry, Lord. For, I told you in the morning that forgiveness is not God because you said you're sorry. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 6. Go and read it. He said for every time you sin again. You take Jesus through the process of crucifixion. That's to let you know that truly the wages of sin is what? Is dead. It is not I'm sorry. So there are things. That everybody who desires to function with God must embrace. And one of them is one. Write it down one. You must know that every sin is a sin against God. Say every sin. is a sin against God. You are not saying it. It is easier to live. Are you still here? Are you here? I'm very sensitive to sound. So give me that other mic. So that guy will be pressing what he's pressing. Praise the Lord. Give me back my volume. Are you with me? You know, in as much as I wrote things down here, I know how God uses me. I minister from my spirit. So if you keep cutting, 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 it's affecting the flow. Bring back the volume. Are you still here with me? Yes, just leave it like this. 
So, it is easier to walk in holiness when you read through the scripture looking for the reward for disobedience. Don't look for the reward for obedience. Look for the reward for disobedience first. Hmm. You will know that there are people that ended the generation because they refused to yield to the workings of God in their lives part time. The reason you are still praying every power from my father's house is because your, your father left powers for you and you met them. And you, you have to vow that none of my children will pray any power because before they come, I will kill all of them. Prayer points will reduce if each generation embraces the dealings of God part time. God, did you get what I just said? In a family where the father is born of fire, mother born of fire, children following God, that generation, it is not difficult for God to always find a man to use. Men don't know the reward for sin. Have you read Genesis 39 before? The life of Moses, the, uh, Joseph. You know what happened between Joseph and Potiphar's wife. And the woman asked Joseph, let's read it, let's read it. Genesis 39 verse 9. Genesis 39 verse 9. There's an agitation in the spirit. And I sense in my spirit that someone that has dwelt on a point for too long, like a bulldozer, I sense a push out of where that person has been before into where that person is supposed to be what i'm saying is that in this meeting god will redeem men's time we will see it before i drop the mic by his mercy there is none greater in this house than i joseph was responding to potiphar's wife he said neither had he kept back anything from me but thee because thou art his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? It, did you notice something here? How can you talk about Potiphar? And after talking about Potiphar, you said that the sin is not even against Potiphar alone. But the, the greater part of every sin is that it is a sin against God. What if I wouldn't have known whatever Joseph did? It was the destiny of Joseph to take care of everywhere he enters. Yes, he had an anointing to lead. So even in Potiphar's wife, he became a leader. Are you still here with me? I am trying to let you know something you must note down. And I told you that you have to do what? Know that every sin is a sin against God. So, in this statement, if Joseph had said, ah, what if I is not here? Let me go ahead and do whatever I want to do. By the time he finished, maybe nobody would have known. And he would become in charge of the house. Everything will be fine. Without knowing that he would have ended as a counselor when the plan of God was to make him a governor. You know when you sin, the devil will give you a position that will make you feel as if sin is prosperous. But by the time you now what how God lets you know that sin is wicked is that as you grow old, you will begin to see men that obeyed God. And you will see yourself that disobeyed God. And when they are talking, when they are appearing, you look at them and you are seeing where you would have been. And you try to become it. You will know that no man can do any of these things except the Lord be with him. I love Christianity. In Christianity, you can choose to raise yourself. Eh? But there is a clear distinction between a man that God raised and a man that raised himself. He would have missed being a governor. And his family would have died of penury. That is abject poverty. When, they, when the famine came, but thank God Joseph waited. I'm going somewhere. But when Joseph entered into the prison, 
can you remember the servants of Pharaoh? They sinned against Pharaoh and they were thrown. The way you are responding is like you ate beans this evening. Are you with me? So, the, the, the servants of Pharaoh sinned against Pharaoh and he threw them into the prison. God allowed them to have dreams that they could not solve. Where I'm going to is to let you know the importance of following the leadership of God. Because holiness, I told you, is not the consciousness of sin. Holiness is the consciousness of God. How do I know? If someone should slap me, okay, I am a man. Everything in me tells me, as he give you with right, respond with left, give him another right, and just give him a touch of a kick. Do you understand? Mm. That's blue and black with a touch of red. <laughs> just settle the man like that. But by the time the man slaps you, a quick journey starts in your spirit. He begins to tell you, for all things were created <laughs> and they were created only to give him pleasure not to fight and fighting is not a way to give him pleasure okay calm down and one thing about that thing is that he doesn't say it more than once once it's done he will go back and hide the other voice will come and say do you know who you are what will you tell your wife when you get home that your fellow man slapped you and you couldn't slap back <laughs> he will give you reasons and that voice can talk for two years just to ensure that you go against God because he knows are you with me what did Adam do did Adam kill anybody so what Adam did in the garden was not just that Adam committed a sin it's that Adam disobeyed God if we see it like that we will not be treating sin as thou shalt not thou no there's another kind of sin in the book of James. The sin of knowing what to do and refusing to do it. But who would have told Joseph that his life was a drama that God himself was painting in the realms of the spirit? God had written his script. My script had been written. If I get to the end of the, the movie, it is because I followed God part time. If I don't follow him, I can end in part one. See, every man is called by God. But the height of every called man is determined by the man. It's not by God. It's not. And God does not demand for a lot from a man. He demands obedience. And the beautiful thing about Christianity, brothers, is that when God tells you thou shalt not, he gives you the power not to do it. So, oh man, thou are inexcusable. Joseph entered the prison. Those two people, they were thrown there. God gave them dreams they couldn't interpret. And then God decided that Joseph, willing, he was still acting out the life of Joseph. And Joseph functioned, functioned accurately. And you know what? When they were about living, flesh came. You know as we are, I am, there is something God is trying to work out in me. He has not caught it completely. I am a work in progress. And he's still working it out. But I vow that my delay in life will never be because I am not ready. Let it be that God is waiting for the right time to manifest me. I will not waste God's time. Me, I vowed. Except I've not heard. If I hear it, I will sacrifice it. If what I'm saying is true, may God bear you witness in your heart. There's nothing I'm living for. I am a, I am a child that I've been watching. And I am wise to have seen from the things that I've watched that the only way to fulfill purpose is to be led by God part time. There are no two ways. When they were living, that part of Joseph came life, came to life. And so as you're living, please remember me. He forgot that nobody remembered him until he got to Potiphar's house. He entered into prison without being held by any man. The interpretation of the dream 
did not come in because he was so powerful it came because he was helped by a spirit but he decided to ask man to help him everything every other man did in time and failed jesus christ came and did it and succeeded can you remember when the brothers of jesus told jesus he said let us go to the passover for no man can be doing these things you're doing and choose to hide how will your disciples believe in you if you don't come out openly and show that you are anointed and powerful and jesus told them my time is yet to come meaning that i can prophesy and call your names and have every reason to come out and start putting up prophecy prophecy and fire night and god will look at you and say you are now functioning with the anointing you are no longer functioning with presence because the presence of god only accompanies you to where god has sent you and you because something has told you that how can i be a prophet and i am not prophesying every businessman in in in, in our nature you know that you have their numbers you always see vision because by the time you see one or two they will credit your account and say powerful man of god that is how a lot of people brought priesthood into the place of mockery and so when you enter the market and you tell a man i'm a pastor they look at you with so much disdain but thank god for the generation god is raising we will look at you in the eyes with your money and say perish thou with thy money but you don't come there if you don't understand that the journey righteousness is a gift holiness is a journey so you journey into holiness you will understand god was already painting pictures with the life of joseph and when joseph made that statement go and read your bible when those men left prison god shot their hearts and they did not remember joseph for two years because whenever you think you thank you so much whenever you think you have come to a place of i can help myself you don't know that the story of my life is that god will do it that when i call my uncles sometimes for school fees i don't even have anyone i'm just giving an example are you with me i said give me school fees god can harden their heart for them not to give you that school fees because each time you have a problem you always remember your uncle if they stop you to search your car instead of you to allow police to search your car you will call your uncle so your uncle has eaten deep into your heart that god is now looking for himself inside of you so when god wants to bring you into the place of rescuing you your uncle is the first person that will fail you because the testimony of a man that god has raised is that when you mount any podium your testimony is that i know that god can pick a man from a dunk hill and say if god does not take all the glory then it was not god that started and finished it if a man can say i made that man it is because that man did not follow god if you follow god no man should beat his chest and say i made you no no man makes any man it is god that makes men through men so god shot the heavens over joseph for two years and when god saw that it was time he gave pharaoh himself a dream that pharaoh could not interpret by the time joseph now came out can you realize that when jo when pharaoh told him i learned that you are the hebrew boy that can interpret all kinds of dreams joseph now responded with humility he said oh king i don't know what you're talking about me i cannot do anything but by the god of heaven have you seen it that god has achieved what god wanted to achieve that the testimony of the man is that if the lord does not watch over a city if the lord does not build a city i don't want to rise without god i don't know how long it will take and i'm not thinking about rising i want if my life is to give god a specific pleasure my only essence in life is to give him that pleasure and if it pleases him that as i give him the pleasure he can do anything with my life i will give him all the glory are you with me one of the days somebody called me he's an accurate prophet he began to share some things with me by the time he finished i said thank you so much sir 
I entered my small prayer room in the house and I lay down there and I began to cry. I mean literal tears. You're not with me again. Bring back the volume. Just bring it up. Bring up the volume. Are you listening to me? I, I, what did I say I began to do? How can somebody tell you? Let me give an example. Bro, somebody calls you on phone. Maybe one of our fathers calls you on phone and tells you that God opened my eyes and I saw that your life is about to shift to another realms and there is nothing any power can do about it because the mercy of God has found you. What are you supposed to do after that time? Wow, Jesus. You begin to dance. God has finally shown me mercy. No. But I, when this man, that was not what he told me. But what he told me looks like something like this. I entered my room and I began to cry. Do you know the cry? Do you know the cry? It was not coming from my mind. It was coming from my heart. I said, God, any lifting that will not allow me to set apart like I do every week. Yes. Any lifting that will make me not to remember the place of Koinonia with you. But I beg you, may it never come my way. I began to cry because I'm asking myself, has God given me enough love in my heart that even if I am traveling anywhere and it is my prayer time, I shut everything down and I begin to pray. You know what? What I'm doing here does not interest God. The only thing that gives him interest is whatever I do in my room when nobody's watching. And so I was asking him, will I maintain it? I was crying. Literal tears. I cried to a level my nostrils got blocked. And he responded and said, it's not of him that wills, nor of him that runs, but it's of the Lord that shows mercy. He said, follow me. If you follow Jesus, you can never, you can never be led into darkness. And then God brought Joseph out of prison. And Joseph did not test prison again all the days of his life. Are you with me? You know that's how God does his own. Every other person in school is carrying women up and down. And God tells you, stay away from women. And you're like, see my friend that is carrying women. Anything he touches is prosper prospering. Me, anything I touch is not working out. How will I do it? How can I? And God will look at you. He will not tell you anything. He will repeat again. Stay away from sin. <laughs> you don't know. That the reward of sin most times, the good reward, that thing they call good, will always come quick to encourage you to go deeper into darkness. But the reward for righteousness, God will stretch you. God will stretch you because we don't know your taste until you are squeezed like orange. Are you with me? It is the nature of God to squeeze a man. And by the time he squeezes you, whatever you produce, is your true nature so when god squeezes you and you look around there's no money for anything how you behave that time is your true nature <laughs> let me let me try again what's your name eh? roland winner winner please stand up i want i want to i want to ask a question have you ever had any problem before any challenge and you began to complain? Did your complaint move God to change the situation? God changed the situation because you complained. No, it was not my God. Are you with me? <clears throat> are, are you following me? God knows that at that time you are being squeezed. And if you are squeezed and you produce complaint, the squeezing will last. Because every man can be happy when everything is working out fine. But you know happy men when nothing is working. And that is where you... There was something God did to me. I don't know if I'm permitted to say it. But for the sake of the music ministers here, let me say it. Me. I started singing in school. And a couple of other things happened and all that. And hey... I started with some men at the top. So all my mind with that, it was that if I do some songs, I will blow. Say I will blow. 
<laughs> so in school, we were planning to blow. I did an album of, I, I think, seven tracks. That was in 2011. And my plan, I graduated, to, no, that was 2010. I graduated 2012. But before graduation, I now met Jesus. I had printed 3,000 copies of CDs that I was going to send out and blow. And by the time I finished, it was that same period that I had an encounter with Jesus. And it changed my life. So one of those days, I was praying before graduation. And he said, hey, hey, that your CD, that your album. It's very powerful. Oh. But those songs there are not the kind of sounds I want to produce with your life. So you produce them by yourself. Leave them under that staircase and let them be there. I looked at money. I looked at Jesus. <laughs> but thank God I chose Jesus. Are you with me? He didn't end there. People will call and say, Hey, how much will it cost for you to be hosted? God made sure that the ability to say, Okay, you can, you can give me this, you can give me that. If me, I say it. If I say it to you, just cancel the program. You know why? Because when I come, you will not see God there. He only follows me when I obey him. God did not leave it there. He dealt with me in 2022. So when we are alive, so let me not say it. Some of you, the only song you sing is God that can pamper you. God that can take care of you. <laughs> if you are amongst the persons I'm talking to, if God's hand is upon your life, your language will, you will not, you will not first know God as God that pampers. You will know him as God that can stretch men. Even beyond what you can give, God will do it to you. Because he did not just stop you from charging. When men still give you, God sometimes will tell you to reject it. How? And he doesn't tell you to reject it when they give you small money. I'm not sure you understand. I came here with my brother. He's a pastor and he's a keyboardist. We have been together for years. So he, know what, he knows what I'm saying. And you know what? Then I will finish ministering somewhere. So the kind, the kind of power that breaks out in meetings. The prophetic trance can be so accurate. Word of knowledge. You see the sick healed. You see blind eyes opening up. And I will carry my phone to type in that meeting. A blind eye saw on Facebook. As I'm getting to the end, Jesus will tell me, uh -huh. So you are, you are now a big man of God. Though. You want to let the whole world know that you, you are anointed. And you know the sound of deleting text message. Was that ka -ka 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 -ka. Delete it and, ke and keep the phone and face the wall. Is this how I will live my life? And some places, the men genuinely will carry you into the office. They will carry me into the office and tell me, there is something in you, any power that is stopping your rising. I, I kill that power. But see, there is no power. The thing is that any man that must last, you don't come out from nowhere. You must be traced to the kind of pains that Joseph went through. Uh, see, I am coming to somewhere now. You don't prosper automatically because you chose righteousness. Righteousness can become the reason even your neighbors will hate you. They will love armed robbers and hate a pastor. Because you chose to stay with Jesus. But one thing I know is that well done, thou good and faithful servant. Is stronger than any applause that any man can give any man in time. You think you know men. You don't know any man yet. It is after rapture that we will know men. Men will be separated from men. You will realize that it's not everyone that will enter heaven that will wear a crown. Go and read Revelation. So my question to you before I fire down is what story or what pleasure is your life supposed to give to God God will first of all kill your ability to pride on things that the eyes can see because a frost star can buy a car and splash water on people 
and go to WhatsApp and write. So how's the low? May people not pour you water for road. Drive past. But when God trains you and God gives you a car, when you splash water on people by mistake, you will park. You will come down and say, please, I am sorry. That thing did not come because you're good. It came because you have been with God. And you know that God does not respect any human being when it comes to his dealings. So I live the life of Joseph. And I want to bring you to the man in time. I look at my life. I am too young to say some things sincerely. That's why I'm trying not to say some things. But I look at my life in my little, in the little mercy that I've seen with Jesus. Any man that does not know that his life gives God pleasure part time will do everything that everybody is doing. Whenever, wherever people are found, you are found there. For the moment you get to understand that the only thing that makes me relevant is when I'm doing what God is doing and my life is to give him pleasure. I live to give him pleasure. I live to give him pleasure. So when you're married, you don't treat your wife well because she's good. You treat her well because your life is to give God pleasure. And God will reward you for marrying your wife well, whether she's good or not. God, when God said love your wife, he did not give a condition. You say why I said I'm too young to say some things. Because somebody's checking now how many years you don't marry. <laughs> but from what I'm saying, I realize that a man that cannot pay the tithe of 1,000, you will not be able to pay the tithe of 1 million. Are you aware? Uh, you're not responding again. Are you aware? So if the beginning, you don't value God, it is not later you will value him. I began to realize that every man can enjoy peace if the man understands that his life is to give God pleasure. You can, flow, you can flow on a different layer. And on that day, I wanted to share an encounter I had, but I will not share it because of something. But if you understand that your life gives God pleasure, it will also open your eyes into understanding that God can fire a man and the man will still be preaching. The man will still be singing. Your face will be, all, will be on all the billboards. But one thing about this thing is that your heart will be cold. You know that whatever you shared with God from the beginning is no longer there. So if God wants me to be holy, why is it that he allows sin to come my way? I don't know how much time I have, but I want to build on this briefly. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 from verse 6. Let's read together. Please media project it for me. I told you this evening that I will teach. You were already shouting because you want me to call down fire. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. If God gives us fire, we will give him all the glory. You're not here. Say amen. Say amen. No, stop the keyboard. Stop the keyboard. Say amen. Just stop. Let's read this scripture. No, I said from verse 6. From verse 6. Can we read together? Church, can we read together? Want to go? How be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect? Yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world, that come to what? To not. Next verse. But we speak the wisdom of God in mystery. Even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory. Final verse. Which none of the princes of this world knew. For had they known, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Leave this scripture for me like this. Please don't remove it. The Bible said here, from the verse we started reading, that God hid his wisdom. Are you with me? In mystery. Can you remember 
that when the first Adam came, when the devil came against him, what did he use? What did he use? He used food. Say food. Huh, you are not responding. Say food. By the time the second and last Adam came, being Jesus, the son of God, when the devil came to tempt him, what did he use first? He also did what? Because the devil knows that whatever that kills a man's father is what will kill the son. Check it. If your father died in fornication, the demon that is after your life now is a demon of immorality. And you know what? You will always look like your father if you practice what your father practiced. So the devil came after Jesus with the same thing that he used against the first Adam. Ah, something is about to break, up, break out here. Something, I just sensed it. But when God sent the second Adam, the first Adam was too feeble. How? He was a big man, or a, a little baby rather, living inside a big body. Because he, he was not born, he was created. So Adam was created an adult. He wasn't created a child. So Adam did not learn. Adam did not go through problems. Adam did not go through any formation to come to the place of stature. So when God sent Jesus, God decided that Jesus would come like a baby. So the Bible said that Christ learned obedience by the things he suffered. Are you with me? If, if, if the Bible said he learned, I'm not sure if I can tell you maybe he wasn't born obedient. He learned obedient by the things that he what? That he suffered. And so God chose that since the devil always comes after my children with the things that are revealed, I am going to hide the lifting of my children in things that cannot be revealed until a man begins to seek. Let me explain. If the devil came after the first Adam, hmm, where I'm going, if you follow me, deliverance is about to happen. I know this for sure. God decided to send the last Adam. And when Jesus came, he began to perform miracles. The devil will see Jesus open blind, open blind eyes, open deaf ears, make the lame to walk. So the devil got angry and got agitated and began to poison the hearts of men for them to kill Jesus. And by the time they took Jesus, the Bible recorded that they took him to the cross. Jesus surrendered for crucifixion. Jesus was not forced to the cross. Because he came for that reason. Are you with me? How many years did Jesus live? He lived 33 and a half years. By the time they took him there, Jesus did not come to pursue long life. Jesus come, came to paint the picture of eternal life. And if you're pursuing only long life, you might miss out on eternity. Are you with me? So Jesus walked to the cross and he was crucified. On the day of his crucifixion, the, the, the dark world, they were rejoicing. Every, they carried they carry drum set. They were hitting the drum. That, that man that used to do miracles, we have ended his life so that people will not follow him again. But the Bible said here, he said that if the prince of this world had known, they wouldn't have crucified the Lord of glory. Because God began to function with a man that is building in a kind of funny light. I call it a funny light. How? How can it be that for God to make a man, a person that can deliver people from prison, God will first of all cast the man into the prison? How is it that I am a healing minister and how I recovered from ulcer? It's only God that knows how I recovered. How come the anointing I carry could not heal me? It is because sometimes if you have not gone through the pains, you will not know how to have pity on men that are carrying the pain. God began to hide lifting in the place of pains. So the life of Jesus became potent on the day that Jesus' life, the devil thought that they had taken the life of Jesus. He didn't know that God was too wise to hide the victory of Jesus in death. He knew that the devil was going to try to kill Jesus. So God decided to package the victory of the man in time into death. That as a man dies, then victory can be found. If the devil had known that the death of Jesus 
we bring about 30 people, people like us, like you. And then we have a lot of people that are following God. If Jesus did not die, we would have all been in trouble. We would have suffered penury and job party and chaos that we might not be able to define. Even Oxford would have lacked the, the utterance to bring definition to what we would have been through now. But God hid it in death. So when they killed Jesus, they didn't know that in the death of one Jesus, he was not just going to die. He will rise, but he will not rise alone. He will rise with so many more Jesuses. Are you with me? That same way, the devil can take a man and bind him with the spirit of immorality. You are trying to come out. It is not working. It is because when the devil has seen that when you were sent into that campus, you are the person, you can flow now, that God sent on campus to bring the spirit of immorality to his knees. He will make you guilty of the same thing that God has sent you to deliver others from. So whenever you try to pray, an angel just walked into this place. Bring up my sound a little. The keyboard, bring it up. Are you with me? Hey. So whenever you try to pray and say every spirit of immorality on campus, the moment you want to say, I bind you, the devil will remind you that you have a girlfriend that you are sleeping with. And you will just come down from wherever you were and you will water down. Because it's only the righteous that is as bold as a lion. They will tamper with your boldness. You will go out and try to evangelize. When God tells you to speak against lying, the devil will remind you that before you climbed the boss, that you also told a lie. How can you preach against what you're practicing? He knows. Whatever a man is suffering, most times, that's what God sent the man to solve. So when the devil binds a man with any form of addiction, the only way the man can stay in addition for long is that the man does not know that the reason that the addition came was that the addition came to pass he did not come to stay there are some addictions that came to build you see you don't have to believe me but except the corn of a wheat falls to the ground and dies it abides alone and the times of death the devil will throw a whole lot of things at you what he wants to do is to silence you that on that i told you that there are people god sent me here for that's why i'm talking in this light and the devil tells you whenever you want to pray he tells you but you are masturbating and you will keep quiet for the last two months you have not prayed and god is saying do you not know that a prayerful man does not commit sins he saw a sinful man cannot pray and a prayerful man cannot sin so if you are battling with sin you don't stop praying to get better you continue to pray until you get better that which the enemies made for evil they thought they bound you with an addiction they didn't know that in times of training sometimes it will feel as if god is quiet it will feel as if god cannot remove this addition you will pray and pray and after 40 days you ask god to send you light and the moment you finish 40 days and fasting and prayer fasting and prayer and you came out the next thing that came upon you was the spirit of lust and you're saying god how can i seek you for 40 days without food and i'm coming out it is lost that is following me and god is saying do you not know that you asked for light and when light comes light will also reveal light does not just shine light reveals and it has revealed something in you that has been hiding it is now not time to complain rise up and begin to amend everything that light has shown i'm not sure you're here how can i finish seven days fasting and prayer and the woman will come and sleep with me in my dream and i chose to live holy and the man came to my dream and defiled me but physically i don't defy myself god are you real where were the angels when the demon came and god is saying i allow that thing to happen because in two years in five years you're going to stand before a nation and you will declare my counsel i don't want that evil to show when i lift you up deal with it now before i lift you up are you with me you are not here yet. Pray in tongues for just 30 seconds.
I don't care to know how many years you have been in that addiction. Today, I bring you the word of the Lord that it came to pass. He did not come to stay. It came to pass. I said it came to pass. It came to pass. This one did not come to stay. Listen. 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 So the scripture said, which none of the princes of this world knew for had they no need they would have taken care of jesus for him not to die if my uncle in the village that is a wizard had known he wouldn't have attacked me at night because it was after the attack that i began to seek god and by the time i found god it was not just about my uncle which is got into a problem i'm not sure you're here that the bible now said that he teaches our hands to war and our fingers to fight god can teach you with anything you don't choose your training ground it is god that chooses it and by the time he chooses it pray in tongues again pray in tongues again i sense that god is bringing people out of addictions you have been walking around the circle it is time to break out of that circle we are speaking about the spirit of holiness you don't wish it you become it by the spirit and deliverance is one of the ways you break out from sin and you are empowered by god to live holy In the name of Jesus. Listen. You can sit down please. Sit down. The devil is foolishness. Thinking that he's wise. Will now wait and say every year. You go for retreat every January. And when you come back. You will still do all the things you used to do before. But you're going to go back. Letting them know that you have a better understanding. I have a better understanding. And your testimony will be that by the time they came to where Jesus was laid after they had crucified him the Bible said that on that morning of resurrection Mary came looking for Jesus and the angel that Mary met there asked Mary why are you looking for the living amongst the dead after this retreat there are people that will look for me where they used to see me and I will look at them in the face and say why are you looking for the living amongst the dead for the things i used to do i do them no more the believer does not function with new year resolution the believer is only helped by the holy ghost i am not talking much about the holy ghost because i did i think by the message of god i talked about him in the afternoon did i talk about him in the afternoon but tonight he said people that have been walking around the circle he said tonight I will break them out of that circle it doesn't matter how long you have been in it if there is a God in heaven we will call on fire hey who told you that masturbation cannot break overnight it's because you have not seen Jesus do you know Jesus do you know Jesus a man that made Paul blind and when Paul became blind in his blindness he also called him Lord so blind people can also see Jesus when he appears they called him Lord before him there are no secrets and if you think you came from a strong village and powers from your foundation that have been fighting you it's because you don't know Jesus I am battling with this sin because of this foundation. What foundation is greater than the cross? I am asking you what foundation is greater than the cross? 
he brought fornication against me and i began to ask god will i die like this will i continue to live my life like this and you know what by the time deliverance came we began to go back to campuses looking for those that are bound by immorality and we began to lose them for where the devil thought that he had put us in prison god changed the prison to a training ground and so david said by my god i can run through troops and by my god i run through the walls most times if there are no trials the revelation of the mightiness of god might not come to the place of clarity if you were never poor you would know that god can provide yes if you have never lacked you will call him jehovah jireh if you have never needed help you will call him a benisa the reason you call him kamapolata less satana adesh pilatano ademede sila teperi atasuna and if you see se feli atapaporia And so Paul declared and said, No, no man after the flesh who has concluded about my life, you were too fast. Who has concluded about my destiny? You were too fast. If you were not the God that created me, you are too small to determine what I will look like. Because you can know a man by what the man did in the morning but be careful not to accuse him the next day because you don't know what happened in the night you don't know listen a lot of people that god wants to use they're in bondage of the mind they are the, they're in the bondage of the devil and whenever god wants to help them they remind God how they are not trying. They are if you are good enough, you don't need God. Yes. It's a sign that this holiness is a spirit. And our father team this gave the team of this program as what? The spirit of holiness. When the spirit of the Lord comes, fornication will be breaking, broken down. When the spirit of the Lord comes, confusions will be broken down. God is here. When the spirit of the Lord comes, the barren woman will carry children. So let your kingdom come, oh. Let your kingdom come, oh. He's here. He's here. He's here. Hey, the Listen, listen, brothers and sisters, my fathers here and my mothers. Listen, how many of you you are already scared of the year? saying i've lived holy now because i'm in this retreat by the time i leave how will i continue to live holy can you stop calculating it and let the spirit of holiness come on you jesus you will know that a man that used to love sin can hate sin overnight it is not by the flesh the bible said it's not by power nor by might but by the spirit of the Lord come now brother why did David pray and say your word have I hid in my heart so that I will not sin it he wasn't talking about just a letter you, the letter you know that David was a prophetic man there were things he said without even knowing what he was saying it was the life of Jesus as explained it. The word of God is Jesus. He was saying, Jesus, have I put inside of me that I will be empowered to live above sin. So as I walk out of this place, I am no longer thinking, how can I conquer life? How can I conquer this? I give attention to the Holy Ghost and say, as I behold you, I become like you. As I behold you, I become like you. Whatever you meditate on is what you become. I've never seen a man that conquered sin by thinking about sin. 
And you know what? God is counting on our generation. God is counting on us. Can you tell yourself I will not fail God? Don't quit. You are about quitting. Because you have been fasting more than others. But whenever you come out to minister, it's as if everywhere is dry. For you are fasting. You are not living in sin. And God will be watching. It is not the day a child is born that the child becomes a youth. He will be watching. Let me see what you will do. Let me see what you will do. I fasted 40 days. I fasted this. I fasted that. I fasted the other one. And God will still be watching. You know what he's waiting for? He's to let you know that you cannot control him. The Bible said he makes all things beautiful. In his own time. I don't know who is here under the sound of my voice. And you sense it strongly that God has sent you help tonight. Listen. You're going to remove your eyes from me. And we will look for Jesus. Are you listening to me? Oh, you're not here. Just the keyboard. Don't play any other sound. Just listen. Listen, we will pray. I will tell you when to pray. I know God is here. Because I, I see Jesus seated on the throne. I can see his angels ascending everywhere. I see the Holy Ghost fixing this again. Hallelujah. God is putting something in my heart and that's why I have not said you should pray. I am waiting to say it out. Bring it down. Listen. Every time the devil is after your life, man of grace, is who? It's not because he's after your money. The devil wants you to think that God does not care about you. He wants you to think that God does not value your labor and he doesn't value your sacrifice. You know I gave an example and I'm still using it. How do you explain that I prayed all through the night and I said let me take a nap and that nap was that a woman or a man came and slept with me in my dream. And by the time you stand up if you give attention to that you will realize that you might never be able to pray like that again. It means that the devil has succeeded. But you know what? If you know that everything coming your way is to train you. You will, uh, you, will, you will get into that training and stay there as a soldier. The Bible said in the book of 2 Timothy, he said, no man that warred entangled himself with the affairs of this world, that he may please the one that, enli that has enlisted him as a soldier. Why am I quoting that scripture? It is God that God does not see me as a man. When God looks at me, he is seeing a soldier. And he is not seeing a soldier that was trained by Nigerian government. He is seeing a soldier that was trained by the hand of God. Because we carry weapons that cannot be seen. When you understand how we function, you will know that we can kill witches at night and come out in the morning and nobody will bring us a letter inviting us to a court. Because we can kill you without you seeing us. It is affliction without hand. You're, you're not here. These things are part of the trainings. Somebody is telling you, I will deal with you. And he succeeded in dealing with you. He didn't know that when he dealt with you, for the past seven years, when you were looking for help to be delivered from that dealing, you now find Jesus. You did not just find help. You found Jesus. Only for him to come after seven years again. Telling you, I will deal with you. You know, if an evil man succeeds in a family, they will come back for more. But they don't know that a priest began to rise. If my elder brother, my elder sister, my younger brother, or the people that are here to come, if they will fail God, I am not looking for them. I have told God, let my own life please you. That by the time... God is done working with you. He can now say 
I cannot do anything without first revealing it to my son, to my daughter. And you notice that before anything happens to your family, you see it. You are not seeing it because your eyes are open. You are seeing it because God has trained your eyes to see. He did not just train your eyes to see. He has trained your hands to bring orderliness where there is no orderliness. And so by the time the man comes back trying to threaten you again, you did not respond to him. The last time you responded to him and you told him, you cannot do anything. You cannot do anything. In inside that you cannot do anything. You were full of fear because you were a baby. But when the man came, you will know that the only reason we respond in warfare is because God is talking. If God is not talking, silence also becomes a voice. So a man is threatening me. I can look at the man and be quiet. And I go to bed. In the night, God wakes me up. He will not remind me about the man. He puts fire in my heart to pray in tongues. And I just pray, kaka, kaka, teke, kapapa, teke, kaka. Just five minutes and the fire waters down he allows you to go and sleep the man woke up with two broken legs how can you talk about speaking in tongues breaking legs now not god last now gone some of you don't know what to release when we pray very soon we are going to pray every bondage all you need to do is kaka don't look around because you will release weapons that you have never seen before Who art thou, O mountain, before Zerubbabel? Thou shall be made a plain. I told you I came here for some people. This In the afternoon, it was a general thing. This night, God said, I am delivering men from circles. How can you be repeating circle every year? Because of one sin. Because of one sin. Have you, have you not cried before on the altar saying, God, you know I don't want to do this thing. For these things I don't want to do, I find myself doing them. You need the Holy Ghost. By the time you are helped by the spirit of holiness, you will realize that what the devil threw at you to silence you became the reason you are now a problem to his kingdom. I'm not sure you are here. It became the reason you are now what a terror to his kingdom so i've been looking for a child for 20 years and god gave me a child when you now see a woman complaining i've been married for five years i don't have a child you look at her and tell her i got my own child at the when when i became 20 years in marriage and i want to let you know that when god gave me a baby he did not just give me a baby he opened a portal over my life that when i meet a person that is suffering barrenness i can comfort their child don't finish a class without coming out with certificate you need to come out with what God wants you to become. Every addiction that has lasted in your life, let it not just go like that. After living, I am going to become a terror to the devil. The worst thing the devil did was to ever bind me with any sin. Because the sin helped me find God. And you know, I can now stand anywhere and say the things I used to do. I do them no more. Are we ready to pray? Are we ready to pray? You are going to run through truths by God. And you are going to break through walls by God. Do you know in the book of Proverbs, a, a scripture that scattered my life is that the Bible said, a man that is in honor and knoweth it not, he said, a man like is like the beast of the of the, of the of the of the forest that perished i said that means a man can be sitting on the hand of god no wonder god said my people perish for lack of knowledge they press you at night every night they're pressing you every night they're pressing you convert it now convert it now since they have decided to turn the alarm for prayer by the time you begin to pray a day will come they will try to press you they will know that you are no longer under that you are now above and your work is to press people and when they come them that used to press us we are now the ones pressing them 
you wouldn't have learned how to press if they, if they did not press you. But it is an abomination for them to press you for years, for months. That thing came to pass. It did not come to stay. What is it that came into your life to pass? Can we allow them to pass now? We are going to pray in tongues as if we are mad. Eh? There are things that don't change until you assume the position of madness. Because the spiritual man is like a madman. And it is time to pray. Wherever you are, inside, outside. It is time to talk in the language of the angels. Are you tired of living around a circle? It will break now. You are coming up. You have not started praying. You have to be angry. You are not angry enough. Guy! If the priests of this world had known, they wouldn't have crucified the Lord of glory. They have made the worst mistake by bringing any problem into my life. For that problem made me find God. We quote Tom Peperito, la tiata zapale, agaba baba baba baka tua, la baba baba kata kapa rakata skapa po, ali ata kapa ba, ya ta kapa po ata skapa pale. Shalatama na sefeli tesi, shaka tesi seli ata mapori. Holy fire, holy fire, holy fire, God upon my heart. Hey ya, hey ya, this is sound of war. Hey ya, 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 Now, if you want to pray, 
na separate ke bila tamana mogo As the river flows, He begins to bring every death into life. He's a life giving river. There's a young man, fire is coming on you. God is breaking you out of every circle, every addiction. As I count one to seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, wherever you are. By the hand of God, I break you out. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. Oh, let it flow, let it flow. Bring that young man here. Let it flow, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. Oh, let it flow right here. Right now, as the river flows, he begins to bring every death into life. It's a life giving river. Oh, let it flow right here. Right now, I, 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 out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. Let it flow, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. Have you been given to the baker? Oh, God, oh, oh, yeah, get it, get it, get Oh, yeah, please. I will cast. Let's say, Jesus. I know that you are here. Every day more. 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 Jesus. 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 Listen, in the name of Jesus, listen, listen, in the name of Jesus, now you can be quiet, listen. If you have read the book of Isaiah, Mama, you will find a young man, I think in chapter 4. And that is the son that Isaiah gave birth to. And God told him, you shall name him Mahashalal Hasbash. You are going, he told him, you are going to give birth to him. And this boy shall be just a sign. That before this boy will be able to call you daddy. Then you should know. That I am about to respond to your enemies in accordance with what they did against Israel. So the only reason that boy was born was to be a sign. Meaning that from after the day that sign took place, that guy's life was no longer important. In case you're thinking that something failed, I know you think something failed, but go and read the book of Hebrew. You will realize that when the names of greatness, the names of men that are great, when those names were mentioned, the same the name of Samson was mentioned. Why? Samson did not just fail God, he died with his enemies. He, he did not just die with, die with his enemies, 
the reason he was born was to kill the philistines so he fulfilled purpose but he died in fulfilling the purpose that's the danger of disobedience but his name came out there because he fulfilled purpose i don't know who is here sin is about to bury you and you're quiet you're praying with style you're praying with style if you're not angry enough the devil does not hear back so it is time to say satan wherever you are operating in my life i find you with the eyes of the spirit and i say go now get out of my family now get out of my life now is somebody here willing to pray this is how i am led to minister tonight i wish you can pray the bible says resist the devil and he shall flee from you wherever the devil is hidden in your family in your life in your ministry in your walk with god we find him by the eyes of the spirit and say set and go set and go get out of my life let the hand of god come on me and let the hand of the devil get out of my okay get out of my life by my god i run through walls only by my god Jesus the Lord opened my eyes now and I saw somebody that has been marked for death you are aware you know you know it you know it but in this same time God said as you announce that the death that was sent about sent against somebody here in this same time that death has been reversed listen bring that person here bring the, the first person i told you to bring the person you didn't bring the person bring the two of them listen listen hi anybody that has been booked for an operation for a surgery i see in the realm of the spirit angels that are more qualified in surgery and doctors they are here and they are about to operate on that person oh man i say it in my and great the sila tapa me te se fila kan ombre a se fel de te my ame a celebrate ya da pania ke manato 
and in a sea light on you shall not die but live kapata salata la shatelo kare amrete si barateli wachana rababa na silete akata si bate peredia yo amata tedi See, something is about to happen here. Get ready, because some people might start running. Some people will receive the speed that they have been asking God for. People will break out of a circle now. Now, see, we all we are going to shout Jesus seven times. Become an usher to someone around you. Oh, this is not an entertainment. Deliverance is everywhere. I can see it. We are going to shout this or several times. Want to go? Shout! of every circle yes help them help them kabarata kabarata skababatua i break you out of every circle every addiction i curse you by the blood of the lamb i come against you for this reason the son of man was made manifest to destroy the works of the devil satan the lord rebuke you the lord rebuke you now Addictions are breaking. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I saw somebody running. I am seeing the person the second time. All shall get ready. Father, whoever that person is, and you are changing that person's speed. In the name of Jesus, I find you by the Holy Ghost. Now, now. Rakataka. Lataba. Yes. Yes. I saw it twice. Twice. I caused every spirit of delay. I caused every spirit of delay. You will not walk around the circle again. I, uh, can you shout amen? You will not walk around the circle again. Last prayer point. Lift your hands above your head and just be silent. Baba. I am not doing this because I want to do it but you spoke to me that you want to break circles and so the hands that are lifted here in every area of your life that you have been lacking the help of the Holy Ghost in this same time Baba can you give us 12 12 people 12 12 i know you can i know you can 12 12 of them let that garment that suppress men from men that garment now yes you can leave them where they are now leave them where they are check if they are up to 12 Bring down the keyboard. Check if they are up to 12. Father, in the name of Jesus, listen to me. By the power, you can take him to where he can have ventilation. whatever that is waiting for your manifestation to disgrace you that has been hiding in you so whatever doesn't look like you that is still reflecting in me whatever doesn't show your grace 
that is magnifying self in me. Baba, take it away. Oh. As your hands are lifted up, I can see in the atmosphere like a banner display displayed. And what I see written in it is help, help. Somebody here, God has remembered you and the help you cried for is here now. Kabaratasa. If what I said is true, Baba, wherever the person is or wherever the set of persons are, let your fire rest on them now. Yes. Help that woman. Help Kai. What the enemies made for evil in this night, God is turning it around for your good. See the way you are saying, Amen. The same God that helped the apostles, the same God that is helping men in time, that same God is God forever. The Bible says, Same God yesterday, today, and forever. I hear a song in my spirit and I know that something is about to happen to somebody. It's a song that you might see as an old song but I hear that He's alive, Amen He's alive Jesus He's alive forever Lastly, we are going to pray in tongues for one minute there is something the Holy Ghost wants to do but he said you should pray in tongues for one minute wherever you are can you begin to pray again just for one minute in tongues maximize the time maximize it I want you I worship. I worship. I worship. Eji maki ejogu. Somebody's family here. Your family is known with madness madness you know what i'm saying that is what is rampant in your in your lineage i wish you can overlook who is watching and come i see deliverance waiting for you here god said somebody in your lineage i'm going to count one to seven if you come i pray if you don't come i leave it but i see that god wants to break you out from that kind of lineage wherever you are as i count one to seven if you come, I pray. Mama, hold my hand. It is not me praying, but it's the Holy Ghost in me saying that enough is enough. It will not happen to you and it will not happen to any of your seed. The Bible said in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 33, he said, who shall lay anything to the church of God's elect? He said, it is God himself that justifies. And so by mercy, I bring the blood. See, God said we should stretch our hands and pray. Because uh, what I'm seeing is that this thing, one of them, it happens to them when they get to a certain age. And one of them is close to that age. And God wants to avert it. Let us stretch our hands towards them and say, Father, none of them will fall prey 
of that evil in that lineage we separate them from that cause open up your mouth and pray see the way you're praying we say no we say no to the devil Hide me, hide me in your secret place. Keep me, keep me in your secret place. My desire is to know you more. My desire is to know you more. Oh, my Father, hide me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, I ask you that your fire comes on one of them as a sign. Your fire is coming on one of them as a sign. Yes, 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 yes. As a sign that the, the curse is broken. As a sign. As a sign. As a sign. As a sign 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 jesus jesus something is happening here god is judging every accuser of brethren god is judging them the case they brought against you in the court of heaven the paper has been torn to pieces and you have been declared discharged and acquitted amongst the people here that's what i'm seeing yes it's happening if this is god or rather if this is all that god has sent me to do here i am satisfied because i can stand here and tell you that addictions broke tonight eh? this one is not a prayer addictions broke tonight can, can, can we be quiet everybody be quiet i see the holy ghost coming i am hearing a shout a shout Baba, 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 we find this person by the Holy Ghost. Something is breaking out in this meeting. If I see that no man will live here the same way he came. Baba, this shout I am still hearing in the spirit. Let that garment come on the person I see. Let that garment come on that person now. Let, yes, I heard a shout. Yes. The spirit of prophecy is coming on somebody. You used to hear from God, but you are no longer hearing. Now your ears are open. Yes. 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 I don't know the person that slept you woke up and the part of your hair got missing it was like skin very smooth and you don't know how it was shaved off i wish you can come here god said you need to be restored now a part of your hair you saw those skin skin it became very clean as if someone cut your hair with something if you are the person come and meet me see don't waste my time you can run to this place don't waste any time. A part of your hair was cut. Yes, come. Come closer. Give me two of your hands. On this day, two of your hands. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Everything that was done against your life, 
with your hair in the name of Jesus I nullify them today now fire is coming on you take it Kaparatasa. in the name of Jesus what I say to the former I say to the now that whatever that has been done with your hair against you as I breathe upon you it is reversed yes Kaparatasa. in the name of Jesus oh God oh God oh God somebody that has been feeling empty the Lord said he's about to fill you up again that's the last prayer I'm praying now Baba where are the people feeling empty let the Holy Ghost fill them up from inside out our father his message told us that the workings of the holy ghost are not from outside in he said that they are from what inside out in the name of jesus right now god fills you up from inside out in the name of jesus some people will have encounters tonight in their sleep they will have encounters tonight now you can lift your hands and your voice and begin to give Jesus glory. Give him praise. Ma fagi e jogu o jogu neliada. Elo kudi 